the advantages of not being able to sleep is you get to see a beautiful sunrise and hear the birds. I'm starting the day with a cup of tea. My blanket knitting. Catching up with Jessie Marie, her new video. And Tom is keeping an eye on the village. Tom, good morning. Good morning, Tom. Not interested at all. <laughs> Easter Sunday breakfast calls for salted caramel and Belgian chocolate hot cross buns. Gorgeous. Toasted, so all the chocolate goes all gooey and messy. Lovely. <laughs> Served with strawberries for that healthy balance on an Easter Sunday morning. <laughs> Hello. Well, today's turned out differently to what I thought it was going to. <laughs> so yeah, this is going to be a bit of a short video, but for good reason. So um, yesterday I said I wanted to work on Celtic Spring and also do some beading because it was going to be stormy today. Well, um, yeah, we have got beautiful weather again so yeah it's not been stormy but that isn't the reason that I've not followed my plans I have done some of the Celtic Spring it is in the hoop and I will just say that I was using two um, threads for the petite treasure braid before and then when I started doing the dress, I thought, actually, it looks too bulky on there. I don't mind it on this. It seems to work. But then that, it seemed too heavy. So I had a look into what other people had done. And, yeah, a lot of people have just done one. So I don't mind it on some of it because I think this dress looks like it'd be a big, heavy, expensive, quality dress. But I do think that I'm just going to do one thread for the ones on here so that is what i'm doing on that so i have made a start but that's the only stitching i have done because i got oops i got a message from my friend today she is an amazing woman <laughs> she's a superhero she's a nurse and what she's only recently in later years um, gone into nursing both her daughters are nurses and when her second daughter was coming up to qualify in she decided that she wanted to do the nurse training so she went through all that it was a lot of hard work and yeah i'm really proud of her and she's been promoted really quickly she's really good at her job and i'm not surprised because she's such a caring lovely person so anyway she contacted me this morning and said about these headbands that have got the buttons on them because for the masks because they're wearing masks she's where she's working three days 12 hours i mean a couple of days off or whatever i don't know what the days off are but literally they're working 12 hours a day and they've got these masks on that are literally pulling on their ears and she said it really hurts 
So she said, can I make her some of these headbands with the buttons on so that they can attach the face masks onto the buttons? So I said, yes, of course I can. I don't know how to do it, but I'm sure there's a YouTube video and there was <laughs> plenty. So yeah, I have been making headbands today. So, um, so I thought, oh yeah, I've got fabric, I can do it because it's just a functional thing. And then she started sending me pictures and saying, sort of like one of my daughters, Shannon says, can you do leopard print? <laughs> so I haven't got leopard print, I've only got what's in stock. And I've only got really cottons that are for my project bags and things, because that's all I'm sewing really. So I said, I'll do best I can with what I've got. So yeah, she wanted them to be quite fashionable. It's like, really? <laughs> I have quite um, loud prints and things, fun things is my thing for my project bag. So I thought, okay, let's see what we can do. Um, so yeah, she also said that Shannon likes the ones that are twisted, so they're not just the flat ones. So can I try and do that? So I found tutorials for them in Jersey fabric. So in the end, I decided to, well, I'll show you, I've knotted them. So this is the basic one that I first made. I had lots of this fabric, so I thought, right, I'll do my prototypes in this fabric. So it's just a strip and it's got the elastic at the back. And it's quite good how you just fold it over and secure it. So they've got that um, elastication there. I haven't got the buttons on yet because I'm going to do that tonight while I'm watching TV. But yeah, so that was my first one and I thought, yeah, that works well. So I thought, okay, let's try and figure out how to do this twist. So I tried I tried to do the twist and I didn't see how I was going to secure it as a twist so it would be easy to put on. You wouldn't have to spend time arranging it, especially if they've got a shift that starts at six o'clock in the morning or something. You don't want to be messing about with your band, do you? So I thought, well, I'll just tie it and then it'll be a permanent thing. That'll be better. So the first one I did, I tied, was this one. And the reason I'm wearing it is because I'm keeping it because it came out too small. I know this because I've got a pin head. I've mentioned that before. <laughs> I've got a really small head. So I know if it's sort of harder for me to put on, that means it's going to be impossible for someone with a normal size head to put on. So I had to then go back and calculate how much the actual tying is taking up on the fabric to make it bigger. So yeah, I've got one, <laughs> a small one. So then I adjusted it. I think it was um, three, three inches like, to make it bigger to have the knot. So then I've just knotted it, the same one, but knotted it so that she can have that look so it's slightly different so it's a bit smaller instead of having just the plain band it's a bit smaller so I've done that one and so yeah I was just working on the theme so the plain ones I've done I'll show you I'll show you these then I'll show you the carnage that is the craft room because everyone always thinks I've got this perfect tidy craft room no <laughs> So that's the other one. I've got a like pinky red with stars. I have one for knots with cherries. I thought that was quite a retro one. And then there's just like what the, what do they call that duck egg blue with just spots. And then another sort of knots one that's got a bit nautical. I quite like that one actually. And then this one is the fun one. So I'll see how this goes down. It's got elephants. <laughs> so yeah, I said that I would make some, send them off to her, and then she can tell me, she give me feedback. Are they too big? Are they too small? Um, sort of what does she want them in different prints, like the one with a knot in whatever. So I can do so if I've got the, if I've got the fabric, I can do them. So they just need to have the buttons on. So I shall show you the carnage that is my craft room. And there's the fabric. <laughs> 
So yeah, just got fabric everywhere. And yeah. So I'm leaving it out. I'm leaving the carnage as it is. Oh, I can't. That's it. I'm leaving the carnage as it is because tomorrow, I don't know if you've heard of them, there's also these wash bags where they're cotton bags with the drawstring. So what they can do is get changed at work when they finish their shift, put it all in the bag or their uniform, secure it, and then when they get home, they can just literally open the washing machine door and put the whole bag in and it will wash in the bag. So it means they're not taking out any contamination into their home. They can just put it straight in the washing machine, put it on quite a hot wash because it's cotton and it, everything will be fine. So yeah, I'm going to make some bags for them tomorrow. That is tomorrow's thing that I'm going to do. So yeah, I'm happy to do that. Yeah, so I'm glad I can do something to help. Um, Claire has actually already had the virus. I wanted to mention this because if anyone is super worried about the virus, I just want to say that Claire, she's a nurse, she's been around people, with, she's actually working on a ward for the virus. She has caught the virus. She's completely over it now and gone back to work. She had a mild case. Um, the whole household, her two daughters and her husband that live in the house, they had to be quarantined for the couple of weeks. They're now going back to work. They're fine. They didn't get the virus at all. So yeah, don't be too, I don't know what to say, don't be too scared. Because even if somebody gets the virus, it doesn't mean they're going to have a really bad case. She's survived, she's fine, and yeah, she's back at work. Um, she probably shouldn't be back at work because she probably is weaker and it's, yeah, like I say, it's bad shifts, but she is back at work. So yeah, just if anyone is really anxious, just to try and calm you a little bit. I'm not trying to underplay what this is, but I just wanted to say that, yeah, she's had it, she's fine. So yeah, I'm just, I'm just really happy that I have had the opportunity to actually do something. And so if they need any more, that's what I said. Let me know sort of your friends and everything at the hospital, what they want. If they say sort of like, oh, can you get me anything? Then yeah, I'm available and I shall make as much as I can. So that is what I've been doing and what I will be doing tomorrow. I don't think the bags are going to take very long. Um, I think she's got a three, from what she was saying, she's got a three day rotor. So that means that I want to try and make three bags for each of them. So that's going to be nine bags to start with. So every day they can literally just put the whole thing in the wash. Um, so yeah, that is the plan going forward. I have... Luckily, because this is a short video, I have got some bonus footage for you. And I have nothing to do with this bonus footage. This is when I was editing the video yesterday. Hubby went for a walk in the woods. And yeah, he decided to do this little video. It wasn't for you guys, but he said, do you want to share it on your vlog? <laughs> so it is funny. It is a bit Blair Witch Project, so yeah. <laughs> it's a bit strange, to be honest, it's a bit strange. But it, I, th I found it funny, and I think, hope you guys will find it funny. So I'm going to put that at the end of this video. So if you would like to watch it, please watch it, and you decide. <laughs> be kind to him, he's only trying to be funny. I told him to get his own vlog, but yeah, he just wants to put his stuff online. So yes, I shall see you tomorrow. I hope you are having a lovely Easter weekend. Um, I've not started my egg. I have got an egg, a little egg. I did buy it myself, but I have got a little egg, so I will be munching on that later tonight. So yeah, have a lovely evening. Take care, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now. Yeah. We are in Wesley Woods. No trains, no planes. 
No automobiles. Just the sound of prehistoric birds muttering in the background. Yes, folks. It's lockdown.